What's up guys, today we have a video about another projector, but I am very excited about it, because it is my first native 4K projector. There are almost 100 videos about the different projectors on our channel Tech Brothers, but we haven't had a 4K projector yet. So meet the Paris Rhone SP005. In addition to 4K UHD resolution, it has 600 anti-lumens brightness, HDR10 Plus support, 200-inch maximum screen size, 24 watts dual speaker and Android operating system. By the way, I think this is one of the most affordable 4K projectors on the market. You can buy it for only $479 using the coupon in description under the video. So let's get started on our full review of the Paris Round SP005 projector. You know, this is my first 4K projector, but it is also probably the biggest projector I have ever had, so it comes in a big box. We can see the main features of the projector on the box, such as 4K resolution, smart TV system, wireless Wi-Fi connection, and automatic keystone correction. By the way, I haven't heard much about the Paris Round brand, but it looks like it was actually burned in Paris in 1915. There is even a kind of Eiffel Tower on the top of the box. When you open the box, you will first see the package with accessories, such as user manual, HDMI cable, power cable, power adapter, and remote control. Among all this, I am most surprised by the huge power adapter. It has a power output of 240 watts. Next, we have the projector, packed in a protective foam. You know, it is not easy to get it out of the box, because the projector is quite heavy and packed tightly. We are done with unboxing, and let's move on to design. I have already told you that the Paris Rhone SP005 is the biggest projector I have ever owned. Its dimensions are 290 by 285 by 180 mm. The weight is 40, 51 grams. So it is definitely not a compact projector. I would recommend you find a spot for it, like on a table or on the ceiling, and don't move it again. However, if you move it around sometimes, it is not a problem, because the projector has autofocus, auto keystone correction, and even smart obstacle avoidance. We will talk about that a little bit later. The body of the projector is made of matte plastic, but the front panel has a fabric coating. The area around the lens also has a textured panel. It looks very nice. The sensors on the front are responsible for autofocus, auto keystone correction, smart screen alignment, and smart obstacle avoidance. There are large holes on the right and left for projector ventilation. I like that all ports and connectors are in one place on the back panel. There is power input, RJ45 Ethernet port, two USB ports, two HDMI ports, audio out, USB-C, and IU receiver. By the way, the rear panel is also fabric covered. Among the control buttons, there is only a power button. I think this is another proof that it is best to mount the projector farther away, like on the ceiling, and not touch it. You can use the remote control to operate it. You know the remote of the Paris Round SP005 projector looks simple, but it has useful buttons like Bluetooth mode, manual focus adjustment, autofocus, and others. I should also show you the bottom of the projector, because there is a removable filter as well as a retractable kickstand. Basically, the projector stands on four rubberized feet, but each of them has threads. I think they can be used for ceiling mounting. Also, the projector is large and heavy. It looks and feels premium. The Paris Round SP005 looks like a flagship product. Now let's turn it on and look at the smart system. When the projector is turned on, we can see the company logo and how it automatically adjusts the focus. By the way, autofocus can be turned off in the settings. We will talk about it a little later. When we first turn the projector on, we are prompted to connect the Bluetooth remote control. Select a language. Set the time and connect to a Wi-Fi network. So the home screen of the Paris ROM SP005 looks like this. I see that it is not Android TV or a Google TV. However, we can go to the settings and see that the projector is running Android OS. It also has 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal memory. Let's go back to the home screen. Here we have Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney+, and Tubi TV. 
You can also go to the recently viewed apps, as well as Eurocinema and Global News. Other sections include Search, Apps, Video, Music and Settings. Let's take a look at the settings. First, we have Wi-Fi settings. I have already connected the projector to a Wi-Fi network, but also the Paris ROM SP005 as RJ45 Ethernet port, so you can use a wired network if you have a weak wireless signal. It looks like the projector could be even used as a hotspot. That's very good. In Bluetooth settings, we can see the device name, so you can connect your smartphone to the projector or start searching for other devices, for example, to connect external speakers or headphones to the projector. I told you before that you can turn off autofocus. This function can be found in projection settings. There is projection mode, trapezoidal, automatic trapezoidal, automatic anti the screen, automatic obstacle avoidance, startup automatic trapezoidal, startup automatic anti the screen, startup automatic obstacle avoidance, four point correction, automatic focusing, startup automatic focusing, manual focusing, and digital zoom. The other settings include power on source, power mode, language, and brightness. You can also go to options, but uh, there is nothing interesting here. Now let's have a look at the streaming services, like Netflix and Prime Video. As you can see, they are not installed yet, but it only takes a couple of minutes. When I launched Netflix, I saw the mouse cursor. It looks like a browser-based Netflix page, not an official app. Prime Video also has a mouse cursor, and it also doesn't look like an official app. As for the YouTube app, it looks like the official one, but when I tried to log into my account, there was an error, something went wrong, sign in failed. I tried several times, but still couldn't log into my YouTube account. By the way, I saw the screencast app on the home screen. Let's try connecting a smartphone to the projector via Wi-Fi. So we can use Miracast and Happycast. I think the Miracast for Android and the Windows devices, while Happycast for iOS devices. The projector is already connected to a Wi-Fi network. So all you have to do is take your smartphone, go to screen mirroring and select Happycast. The latency is very low, only a few milliseconds. One of the main features of the Paris Round SP005 projector is the built-in dual 24W speaker system. You will be able to watch some videos with audio later, but for now I want to turn on some songs for you. You know the volume level is so high that they cannot listen above 60%. If you have a very large room or you are using the projector outdoors, you can turn up the volume. The sound quality is very decent, and I like the powerful bass. You know that's very rare for a projector. The Paris Round SP005 even has a Bluetooth mode. You can press the Bluetooth button on the remote control, and you will enter speaker mode. Enter speaker mode. And now you can take your smartphone, go to Bluetooth menu, and select PE SP005 device. Now turn on the music on your smartphone, and it will play through the projector's speaker. You can also turn off the projector when listening to music to extend the lamp life. Paris Ron SP005 is an LCD projector with a wide LED light source. Unlike laser projectors, LCD projectors are equipped with quite noisy fans. The noise level near the new Paris Round projector is 54 dB.
However, you will most likely place it 1 meter or more away from the wall, so its noise will be about 48 decibels. I think it is quite enough for its large size, because I have tested 5 times smaller projectors with the same fan noise. Finally, let's talk about image quality. Since I was having trouble logging into my YouTube account, I decided to connect a laptop via HDMI. The projector detected the device connection and invited me to jump into HDMI 2. The image is very clear. I didn't notice any blurring in the corners at all. Even white lines on the black screen are crisp. By the way, I tested the projector with a screen size of about 120 inches, but it supports a maximum screen size up to 200 inches. I already told you that this is my first native 4K projector, and it has the best image quality of any projector I have tested. The contrast ratio of Paris Round SP005 is 1600 to 1, and it is even higher than some DLP projectors. I really enjoy the clarity and colors of this projector. As for the brightness, it is 600 anti lumens. At first I thought this wasn't too much, because I have tested projectors with 800 and even 1000 anti lumens. However, I even feel like the Paris Ron SP005 is even brighter. I am very surprised at the brightness of this LED projector. It is on par with DLP or even laser projectors. By the way, most other LED projectors have a lamp life of 30,000 hours, but the Paris Ron SP005 has 40,000 hours of lamp life. That's very good. Changed it. Will they repeat that yet? Double teamed on the screen. Now they double team Gobert and Lillard with the reach in foul, and he has not been able to get on track in this game this season. Uh, 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 
Hamilton has left back, of course, but needs to play in Wembley. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. <laughs> brand new Hyundai Kona Electric and it's gone all Daft Punk. Check out this Pixel light strip on its face. It's full of smart tech, green materials and has a range of clean engines. There's a lot to fit into its rather imposing body. I mean, down to this much larger, taller grille with this silver frame. Another proof that the projector has a high brightness is that you can use it in a room with light. You can even see details on the projection in the bright room, but the colors are better in a dark room. So we can say for sure that the Paris Rome SP005 is the best projector I have tested. It has a very good image thanks to its native 4K resolution as well as high brightness of 600 NC. You can watch dark movies in a dark room or even some shows or videos on YouTube in a bright room. Flagship features such as autofocus, auto keystone correction, obstacle avoidance make this projector easy to set up. I believe the sound quality is just as important as the image quality, and the Paris Ron SP005 has a very good dual speaker. My only complaint about this projector is the smart system, because I was unable to log into my YouTube account. I would like the projector to have Android TV or Google TV. In my opinion, the Paris Ron SP005 is the best projector out of $500, so it is one of the best LCD LED projectors in general. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!